This is vlog number six of Tanya's Twisted Tales. This vlog is going to focus on scoliosis and how it affected my body and my life. So June is National Scoliosis Awareness Month. I have been aware that I have scoliosis my whole life. I was born with a 55 degree curve in my spine. Now anything over 50 degrees is considered pretty serious, so being born with 55 degree curve is almost unheard of. I was also born with what turned out to be a more minor case of spina bifida. My spine never developed normally in utero, giving me congenital scoliosis. In my first years of life, braces, body casts, and surgeries all were tried, and all eventually failed. The scoliosis did not allow my lungs to fully have room to develop, and as the curve progressed, so did long-term lung problems. I had my spine fused as a toddler, followed by tons of medical problems. After two surgeries one month apart, Diffuse my spine. They also cut a pie shape out of my rib cage. I'm told the pain was beyond controllable, and right after the second fusion, I stopped breathing completely. When I did finally recover, I had to lay flat for months so the fusion could take hold. I was just 17 pounds when I had these major surgeries, and they had never been tried on someone so young or so small. This was all done in a different state than the one I lived in, dividing our family hours apart. I pretty much grew up in the hospital with lung, heart, blood sugar, and potassium issues. Many times it was touch and go if I would even survive. Scoliosis for me was not an annoying thing that affected my looks. More braces, body casts, and surgeries would have been a welcome solution if they would have provided a straighter spine along with better lung function. Instead, I have a curve of well over 100 degrees. Rods during surgery could not be used, and further surgery is ill-advised due to the high risk of paralysis and further lung damage. I have had my trach permanently placed as a four-year-old child. I also had to start using a ventilator to breathe at night starting when I was seven years old. I had to use oxygen full-time until I was in my late teens. All these things became normal for me. Things like the flu and pneumonia could easily take a person like me out. So vaccinations are important, along with taking daily antibiotics. The doctor's only advice is to exercise and keep me as strong and mobile as possible. This can be hard to do when you're 4 feet tall, 70 some pounds, and fatigue very easily. Now, trachs and ventilators are very scary to people unfamiliar with them. A trach is basically just a small tube that sits in the trachea. Water cannot get into the trach because it would go straight to my lungs. I could either drown or get a serious bacterial infection. This was a major bummer as a kid during the summer months. When my friends hit the pool for their swimming lessons, I had to watch from the sidelines. I've always loved water and try to spend as much time as I can around it while being as safe as possible. Trait care for me involves literally using a machine to suck the mucus out of my airway. When I get sick, I constantly have to suction. I am able to change my own trach out myself, and it's pretty easy after being trached for over 35 years now. The ventilator hooks up to the trach and blows air into the lungs while I rest. These machines have gotten much smaller and simpler to use since I was a child. But having a vent means traveling can be tricky and has to be well planned out. I need to bring someone with me when I travel to handle the excessive amount of luggage I require. 
Even the overnight trip can look like I'm going to be gone for a week. I'm not doing this vlog for people to feel sorry for me. I may not be able to wear the latest fashions, cannot be so choosy about shoes, but I made a good life for myself. I am, however, doing this video to bring awareness that scoliosis is not just about how bad you may look in your clothes or a bummer wearing a brace can be. This is about how others had to sacrifice for your less severe scoliosis treatment options. You can certainly have your pity party. I have had a few myself, but life is just too precious to waste. This is about how scoliosis for some can affect your everyday life for a lifetime. That those of us with severe scoliosis who have been blessed enough to survive are beyond aware that we are the lucky ones. Our bodies have been severely altered inside and out due to scoliosis. Scoliosis has taken my height, my lungs, my air, my ability to have children, and so many other things. It has not, however, taken my strong motivation to fight for things I believe in and advocate for others. I drive, own a home, graduated college, held a long-term job, continue to do volunteer work. All this was severe scoliosis. I have to do things a little differently sometimes, but it works. People with scoliosis, even the most severe, can thrive and live life to the fullest. So have your pity party, but when you're done, stand up as tall as your body allows. Be proud of who you are. Be proud of whatever scar you bear. You are strong, you are brave, and you can make the world a better place. So this is vlog number six of Tanya's Twisted Tales. Subscribe, share, tell a friend. Together we can teach each other so much.